Everybody, good morning. I'm Dwayne Marino. Welcome to Autoversity. It's 5 a.m. here on Sunday morning. Just going for my uh, Sunday morning treat with often a hot chocolate coffee combo. So if you like these tips, please press like, please subscribe, and please share them. What's today's tip about? Well, I just had a little bit of a flashback. I'm going through the drive through here, uh, picking up my uh, coffee hot chocolate combo. And the gentleman waiting on me in the window um, reminded me of me when I was 16 years of age working at McDonald's in the drive through um, same time of morning, night, all the time, and uh, wearing the you know vinyl uniform and the paper hat, and he was not at all happy about working there, and neither was I. Uh, he wasn't rude to me. Uh, let's just say he was a little indifferent. Just did his job, did it fine. Service was quick. Definitely wasn't service with a smile. And um, I remember when I was uh, 16, after a couple of months working at McDonald's, I got fired for throwing a hamburger guy through a drive through window because he was going off with my paper hat and vinyl uniform and my service, I guess, at that uh, particular moment was slow and I don't know what happened. And I had uh, zero social skills. I had no patience or desire to uh, you know, understand anything about customer service. And so I burger bombed him through the drive through window and uh, what happened was I got uh, you know, in a little bit of argument with him when he came walking back through the door. I thought it was actually going to be a physical fight, which would have been fun for me at the time, but it didn't result in that. But I got fired. And in my exit interview, uh, Fred, the manager who now owns a few A&Ws, um, and I see him once in a while, and he actually comments on how he can't believe I've turned into a somewhat of a normal human being, uh, felt bad for me because I was crying a little bit and I was upset and frustrated about all the stuff going on in my life and whatever else I thought was wrong. And he hired me. I, I reminded him during the um, interview when I got hired that I wanted to be working drive through or, or sorry, I did not want to be working drive through or the front counter. I wanted to be in the kitchen or the bathroom cleaning toilets or whatever because I had those people skills and you know, I don't want to be around people. So anyways, he rehired me and threw me in the kitchen and two or three months later, I was employee of the month. I ended up staying there for three years. So what is, this, uh, what is this tip about? Well, first off, even the most uh, mundane jobs, menial jobs, there's lessons to be learned. I learned a lot there about being humble, about uh, you know serving somebody, because that's your job, it's what you gotta do and make the experience pleasant, about stop trying to um, um, change the system that you're working in. As far as McDonald's goes, a couple of things I will never forget. Uh, their slogans were, you know, if you have time to lean, you have time to clean. This still is in my mind. I have got to be productive all the time. There's no stand around time for me in my business or personal life for the most part. When I'm leaning, I'm leaning. I'm leaving on vacation for a couple of weeks. We're going to uh, go in Italy tomorrow. I will be leaning the whole time. I won't be doing anything. I'm not bringing my phone. I'm not bringing any uh, uh, kind of mobile accessories or electronic tools. I'm taking some time off. So, uh, But when we're at work, folks, if there's time to lean, there's time to clean. You can always be doing something. And the other thing I learned was uh, if you have a process, you can handle a lot of uh, uh, variables and changes in business and volume. We'd be uh, there, you know, and nobody in the place, taking uh, food out of the food bin because it's going uh, cold, going bad, putting it in the garbage, one customer in the restaurant, and uh, all of a sudden four buses would come rolling in and you got to serve 300 people and you could do that just as well because we had the process to do that. So my tagline in my business today is achieve profit through process because I truly believe that. If you have a process that works, now this is the key. One of my martial arts instructors taught me when I was younger, the only thing worse than not knowing what to do is mastering a technique that doesn't work. If you're mastering 1980s, 1960s sales techniques like slow them down, stay off price, um, management's not getting involved, not uh, talking to your customer immediately early in the sale. Um, these types of things just don't work anymore. So um, I guess my message for today is if you're in a situation or a career or personal life um, spot where things aren't going the way you want right now, uh, I almost had a tear in my eye for this young man at the window. He actually reminded me of me a lot in body language and stature at that time, even the way he looks. Um, I hope he knows he does not have to stay in that position forever and he's just got to do the best job that he can so he's now able to take on whatever his next position in life is going to be and my next position in life after that was changing oil for the most part and uh, you know detailing cars and then working on the service desk and you know you will grow up into your next job if you give your current job 100 percent and take whatever lessons are in that job for you so i felt um, uh, uh, compelled to make this video this morning it comes from my heart it's not my brain this one uh, because I, I still feel like I'm 16 years old. I obviously I'm not. Um, in my mind, if you know, you ask me how old are you, Dwayne? I, my answer is 23. I really feel that. So ask yourself, how old do you feel you are in your head? 
Um, our consciousness does not age. We get to a certain point um, in life, and you know what? Your 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 brain, your mind stays very very similar, you know, very much the same. You might be old or young for your age, but uh, please know, whatever position you're in life right now, it can change, it will change. Just stay at it. Uh, keep on keeping on. Be patient. Work hard. I'm Dwayne Marino. Enjoy the next couple weeks of your life. I know I will. Take care, and we'll see you soon.